the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency has established a new operations center to provide military forces and policymakers round-the-clock access to geospatial data. The Biden administration has taken steps to make major government contracts more accessible for small businesses. The Department of Defense has awarded two contracts worth $49 million combined to Micros Components and the government of Osceola County in Florida to improve packaging capacity and capabilities for semiconductors used in defense operations. The National Science Foundation is leading the launch of the National Artificial Intelligence Research Resource Pilot, which aims to give U.S.-based researchers and educators access to artificial intelligence technologies, training and user support. The Department of Health and Human Services issued voluntary cybersecurity performance goals and launched a gateway website to guide healthcare and public health organizations in defending their IT infrastructure. The Technology Modernization Fund has made investments worth about $71.2 million combined in the Department of Justice, General Services Administration and AFRH, or the Armed Forces Retirement Home, to help the agencies improve customer service and deliver secure services to the public. The Securities and Exchange Commission has released new rules and amendments to improve investor protection in initial public offerings of special purpose acquisition companies and DSHPAC transactions. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has launched a new program to demonstrate a digital regulatory approval framework for pharmaceutical products produced on single reprogrammable manufacturing hardware. Join Gufkin Wires Events 2024 Market Conditions for Government Contractors webinar on February 9, 2024. Visit govconwire.com events. The GOES-U spacecraft has arrived in Florida, where it will undergo final processing ahead of its launch, set to take place no earlier than April 30th. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office have signed a memorandum of agreement to continue collaborating on advancing climate technology.